In this section, we're going to look at applying borders and shading to a paragraph. So again, I'll use this little trick by typing this in to generate some random uh, paragraphs. And I'll press return, and there's some random paragraphs. So I'm going to click within this uh, first large paragraph here. And if I click on the Home tab up here, you'll notice over here I've got shading, and over here I've got borders. So let's click on the down arrow next to the border icon. And if you look at the options, you've got bottom border, looks like that. Top border looks like that. Left border, right border, no border, or all borders. So I go for all borders, and it looks like so. If we click within the uh, second large paragraph here, let's try some other ones. So we'll click on the down arrow here next to border. Let's say you wanted a top border, it would look like that. I can have a top and bottom border if I want, so I click within the paragraph, click here, click for a uh, bottom border, so basically it's got top and bottom. You can also apply shading, so if I click within this first, first large paragraph here, and if I go over to here and click on the down arrow next to shading, as I move over these colours here, you can see different colours are applied. So if you've got black text, you want something that's fairly light because when you print this out, you want it to be readable. So if we go for something like uh, maybe that one there, we've got a light green color with black text on it. If you want a different color, you just click within it. Let's say, whoops. Let's say you want a sort of, uh, want an orangey color, look like that, or a blue color, looks like that. As I say, go for a fairly light color because when you print them out, you might find that if you use a very dark background with black text, it's hard to read. So here's something that's interesting. What happens if you go to this uh, paragraph, go to border and select black text? You'd expect to see nothing because you've got black text on a black background. But what actually happens is uh, Word uses a bit of intelligence and says, hmm, you've got black text, black background, so it automatically changes it to white text on black background. So as you can see, that's quite an effective way of, you know, drawing someone's attention to this particular paragraph. So you've got basically a black background with white text on it, so it reverses what you normally see. Again, you can undo that if you want to, and you can undo and undo, so it goes back to where it was. If you want to, you can combine these techniques. If I click within here, I can go and put maybe um, a border all the way around. And if I click here, I could have maybe that sort of shading. So again, a border with a colored background there is a nice way of drawing attention to that first paragraph. If I undo those, let's try something else. Let's go back to the uh, border here. If you want, you can have more colors here, so you can click on more colors and basically select the sort of color sort of shade that you want. Click on that and there you've got a kind of purple background. If you want to have a different sort of border on that, you could click here, click here, and instead of using these presets, you can click on where it says border and shading. And from there, you've got a lot more options. So for instance, you could apply a border so we'll go for a box border, or you can have a shadow or 3D one, but we'll go for a box border here. Uh, this time we'll go for much heavier weight, so it looks something like that. So as you can see, it's much more dramatic. And also you can change the color if you want. So let's go for bright red. So we're applying uh, basically a box border in red with a six point width. We click on OK, it'll look like that. So again, very dramatic. It kind of draws attention to the first paragraph. If we look at this first line here, normally you just click within it and then you might want to apply, say, um, a border like that and it goes from basically the left of the screen to the right of the screen. Well, it's sort of okay, but let's try something else. Let's undo that. Let's actually select just these words here and now we'll try applying um, a border all the way around and that applies just to the selected item there. In the same way, if I wanted to apply um, a border just to this part here, I could select just this, um, this selected text. I could go to here and then let's say, let's have a black border on that. And as you can see, we've just got the um, selected area being displayed with the background as opposed to 
a background that goes right across the screen. So that's quite a useful little trick.